Hello everybody and welcome back to another point coming to us. Avatar The Last Year Avengers Season 3 Episode 16. The Southern Raiders. So, previous video was a two-parter and yeah, it's... Uh, I'm excited to see the whole rest of the season. I checked out my backup, um... Um, backup like folder for avatars so far is almost 100 gigs big, so that's fun. Uh, let's just immediately get to it. So, Water. yeah, Earth. <coughs> Fire. I'm really excited to see how Azula will react to that betrayal. Like, there were a lot of conversations. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about comments, so screw it. There were a lot of comments like. It was very well portrayed in the Earth Kingdom, Earth King uh, episode that uh, when Azula said, or they talked about how hard it is to be betrayed by people close to you. So you know, it was a very cool build up to that moment. I really liked that, but I, I feel like I keep saying that I really like that. So, no idea what this war has put me yeah, me personally. The Fire Nation took my mother away from me. I'm sorry, <laughs> you might have everyone else here buying your transformation. Mm -hmm. You and I both know you've struggled with doing the right thing in the past. So, let me tell you something right now you make one step backward, one slip up, give me one reason to think you might hurt Aang, and you won't have to worry about your destiny anymore. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea what this will be about, but hmm, that all seems interesting. This will probably be about uh, Katara and Zuko, which will be actually very interesting to see. It's kind of fun that they brought Chitsang Chich with them. Just because of, like, consistency. It's kind of fun. Oh, hey, look, that's a freaking grenade! Well, that, uh, that was a good reaction, but holy crap, that was unexpected. Hey, war balloons. Um. Okay. Bombardment. Neat. Take that as a thank you. <laughs> yeah. Come on, we oh, that's kind of cool. That actually two Earthbenders makes that easier. Go ahead. I'll hold them off. I think this is the family visit. Oh. Come on, we gotta get out of here. I do like like Sokka looks nice with um his hair down. I don't know. The whole thing with hairs is like the fact that they do like change those is kind of fun. Or like, like no, I, I, I don't know what, what I'm saying. doing here. You mean it's not obvious yet? I am about to celebrate becoming an only child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, how did that explode though? That was unexpected, but that, I suppose like since combustion bending, as it is called, even though I think that's inaccurate. That's kind of cool, like. That it would be possible for Azula to actually like do that or create explosions with her bending. I mean, she can like cause she can fly with it. So yeah, that was a rather desperate escape. Yeah. Oh, hey, cool. Suki is. Suki comes with them. That's awesome. I freaking love her. She's possibly my favorite female. Uh, I was going to say she was my fa favorite female character, but that's tough. So. This is. Hmm. 
Cool! Earth Shield. Wow. That escaped though. But... I wonder though... Is Zuko really just trying to fight Azula? Because... That seems like an imbalanced ma match, don't you say? I mean... I don't think Zuko has grown that much. Or at least that's what I think, so... He might have very well. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting that they are just like... Oh, hey, look, lightning. Possibly? No? Yes? Maybe? Or... You know, just an awesome explosion. It's cool. It's cool, I think. Azula Rocket, go! Azula can fly, it's okay, whatever. She's not gonna make it. Oh, she is. What do you think? She can fly, of course she will. Of course she did. <laughs> Exactly, of course she did. That's kind of cool that she used that, um, whatever, that thing on her hair. It really seems like old times again, doesn't it? If you really want it to feel like old times, I could, uh, chase you around a while and try to capture you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun joke. Uh, Funny joke. Who knew after all those times he tried to snuff us out, today he'd be our hero. Hear, hear! I'm touched. I don't deserve this. Yeah, no kidding. What's with her? I wish I knew. What's with him? I wish I knew. No, oh, I do. It's... Yeah. This isn't fair. Everyone else seems to trust me now. What is it with you? Oh, everyone trusts you now? I was the first person to trust you, remember? Back in Bossing Se. And you turned around and betrayed me. Betrayed all of us. <coughs> what can I do to make it up to you? You really want to know? Hmm. Maybe you could reconquer Bossing Say in the name of the Earth King. Or, I know, you could bring my mother back. Oops. Wrong tent. Sorry. Do you need to talk to Sokka too? Nope. Not me. <laughs> oh, it's obvious. Whatever. Well, hello. <laughs> the Zuko. Yes. Why would I be expecting anyone different? <laughs> so what's on your mind? Your sister. She hates me, and I don't know why. But I do care what she thinks of me. Oh, that was and fun. She doesn't hate you. Katara doesn't hate anyone, except maybe some people in the Fire Nation. <laughs> I mean, uh, not people who are good, but used to be bad. I mean, bad people. Fire Nation people who are still bad, who've never been good, and probably won't be, ever. Stop. Okay, listen. I know this may seem out of nowhere, but I want you to tell me what happened to your mother. What? Why would you want to know that? Katara mentioned it before when we were imprisoned together in Boston Say, and again just now when she was yelling at me. I think somehow she's connected her anger about that to her anger at me. It's not a <coughs> like to remember. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to find mom. Many of the warriors had seen the black snow before, and they knew what it meant. A Fire Nation raid. Hmm. We were badly outnumbered, but somehow we managed to drive them off. As quickly as they came, they just left. I was so relieved when it was over, but... That's because I didn't know yet what had happened. I didn't know we'd lost our mother. Wait, can you remember any details about the soldiers who raided your village? L like, what the lead ship looked like? Yeah, 
Sea Ravens. The main ship had flags with Sea Ravens on them. The symbol of the Southern Raiders. Thanks, Sokka. No problem. Thanks for stopping by. <sighs> Interesting. Never leave. Suhi. Actually, that's interesting. There's like that rock formation there. Huh. Ah, that's an interesting detail. Whatever. You look terrible. I waited out here all night. What do you want? I know who killed your mother. And I'm going to help you find him. <laughs> this is uh, again. This is kind of interesting since now we get to see like <laughs> uh, the past episodes have been like Zuko's interactions with each of the characters. It's it's very interesting. Like the fire bending masters was with Zuko and Aang, and the previous two were with the boiling rock episodes were with Zuko and Sokka, and now it's Zuko and Katara. This is freaking amazing. Oh, this is, this is really great. To borrow, Appa. Why? Is it your turn to take a little field trip with Zuko? Yes, it is. <laughs> What's going on? We're going to find the man who took my mother from me. Sokka told me the story of what happened. I know who did it, and I know how to find him. Um, and what exactly do you think this will accomplish? I knew you wouldn't understand. Wait, stop! It's vengeance. You understand? You're feeling unbelievable pain and rage. How do you think I felt about the sandbenders when they stole Appa? How do you think I felt about the Fire Nation when I found out what happened to my people? She needs us, Aang. This is about getting closure and justice. I don't think so. I think it's about getting revenge. Fine. Of course. Maybe it is. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe that's what he deserves. Katara, you sound like Jet. It's not the same. Jet attacked the innocent. This man, he's a monster. Katara, she was my mother too. But I think Aang might be right. Then you didn't love her the way I did. Katara. The monks used to say that revenge is like a two-headed rat viper. While you watch your enemy go down, you're being poisoned yourself. That's cute. But this is an air temple preschool. It's the real world. Now that I know he's out there, now that I know we can find him, I feel like I have no choice. Katara, you do have a choice. Forgiveness. That's the same as doing nothing. No, it's not. It's easy to do nothing. But it's hard to forgive. It's not just hard. It's impossible. I, th I suppose I'll be very quiet. Yes. It's okay. Because I forgive you. Did that give you any ideas? Don't try to stop us. I wasn't planning to. This is a journey you need to take. You need to face this man. But when you do, please don't choose revenge. Let your anger out. And then let it go. Forgive him. Okay. We'll be sure to do that, Guru Goody Goody. Thanks for understanding, Aang. Yip yip! You know, you're pretty wise for a kid. <laughs> Thanks, Sokka. Usually it's annoying, but right now I'm just impressed. I appreciate that. So, can I borrow Momo for a week? Why do you need Momo? Mm -hmm. yes. We need to find the Fire Navy communication tower. Interesting. All the Navy's movements are coordinated by Messenger Hawk. And every tower has to be up to date on where everyone is deployed. So once we find a communication tower, we bust in and take the information we need. Not exactly. We need to be stealthy and make sure no one spots us. Otherwise, they'll warn the southern... This is also... Uh, again, this is very intri interesting that they are going ho so much with this espionage route. Like, with the previous, ep previous the Boiling Rock. But again, more Oh my god, this is... I, I, I suppose I can't really comment on this. This is very... I, long before you reach them. Very interesting.
I suppose Zuko is already familiar with espionage, considering his time as the Blue Spirit. Neat. Okay, Southern Raiders. Bam! On patrol near Whale Tail Island. Whale Tail Island, here we come. You should get some rest. We'll be there in a few hours. You'll need all your strength. Oh, don't you worry about my strength. I have plenty. I'm not the helpless little girl I was when they came. I'm going to find Mom. Mom! Just let her go, and I'll give you the information you want. You heard your mother. Get out of here! Mom, I'm scared. Go find your how dad, did, sweetie. How did he sneak there? How did he sneak in there? I ran as fast as I could. Dad! Dad! Please! I think Mom's in trouble! There's a man in our house! Kaya! But we were too late. Okay. When we got there, the man was gone. And so was she. Your mother was a brave woman. I know. There! See those sea weapon flags? It's the Southern Raiders. Let's do this. It's interesting that Oppa can easily go underwater. Ah. Holy! Oh my gosh! Remember her? You will soon. Trust me. <laughs> Think back. Think back to your last raid on the Southern Water Tribe. I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I don't know. Don't lie. You look her in the eye and you tell me you don't remember what you did. It's not him. He's not the man. What? What do you mean he's not? He's the leader of the Southern <laughs> He has to be the guy. the man we're looking for who is you must be looking for Yan Ra he retired four years ago oh Yan Ra you lazy piece of work I need something yes mother what is it the tomato carrots from your garden are too hard for my thumbs I need something soft and juicy! Would you like something else from the garden? I would be happy to... Forget your stupid garden! Get your grimy hiney to the market and buy me some real food! Okay... Hello? 
Is someone there? <laughs> this reminds me of old that thief. Was that was the monster. This really does remind me of old thief. Sneaking behind a guy. Behind the bush, and I wouldn't try fire bending again. Whoever you are, take my money, take whatever you want. I'll cooperate. Do you know who I am? No, I'm not sure. Oh, you better remember me like your life depends on it. Why don't you take a closer look? Yes, yes, I remember you now. You're the little water tribe girl. Just let her go, and I'll give you the information you want. You heard your mother. Get out of here! Mom, I'm scared. Go find your dad, sweetie. I'll handle this. Now tell me, who is it? Who's the waterbender? There are no waterbenders here. The Fire Nation took them all away a long time ago. You're lying. My source says there's one waterbender left in the Southern Water Tribe. We're not leaving until we find the waterbender. If I tell you, do you promise to leave the rest of the village alone? Hmm. It's me. Take me as your prisoner. I'm afraid I'm not taking prisoners today. She lied to you. She was protecting the last waterbender. What? Who? Me! That would have been brutal. So why don't you take my mother? That would be fair. I always wondered what kind of person could do such a thing. But now that I see you, I think I understand. There's just nothing inside you. Nothing at all. You're pathetic and sad and empty. Please spare me. <laughs> but as much as I hate you, I just can't do it. You could burn him. <laughs> Katara! Are you okay? I'm doing fine. Zuko told me what you did. Or what you didn't do, I guess. I'm proud of you. I wanted to do it. I wanted to take out all my anger at him, but I couldn't. I don't know if it's because I'm too weak to do it, or if it's because I'm strong enough not to. You did the right thing. Forgiveness is the first step you have to take to begin healing. But I didn't forgive him. I'll never forgive him. But I am ready to forgive you. You were right about what Katara needed. Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. Then I have a question for you. What are you gonna do when you face my father? Oh, that's amazing. Oh. I have so... Oh, God.
gosh. What this? Uh. I It's an interesting episode, to say the least. Uh, sorry, I'm really having a hard time to come to grips with this, because this episode really did, like, it had a lot of emotion behind it, and it did have a, quite a lot of things. I might actually have to take a break here. This is incredible. Holy... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'll, I'll be back in a, like five minutes. But you won't see that because it'll be editing. So, I'll be back in a second. Alrighty. I think I'm fine now. So... Yeah, this episode really was an interesting one to say the least. It's a very interesting thing to see, like, Zuko and Katara, like, confront, like, Katara's past in this manner, and, like, literally go and face her past. It, it's a very cool one, and it, it, this episode really dealt a lot with Katara's emotions and past, and how it's kind of interesting that she has go grown more vengeful, or rather, she has grown more emotional, and now portrays her violent tendencies a lot more clearly and openly. And yeah, she is more violent. But now, I think she has also... This episode kind of like, they handled the fact that Katara has this in natural tendency for violence and evil, so to speak, considering that now she can plot, and, and we got to see her do that. I'll talk about that later. So, the fact that she has a natural born talent for violence, because of both water painting and blood painting now, it kind of, and she also learned blood painting really quickly. So, it's kind of interesting to see that even though she has that talent to do horrible, unspeakable things, she also has the, her natural feeling is not to do it, and her moral compass stops her from doing that. And that's very interesting. It would have been also Another interesting thing, thing to see, like her just go out and, you know, kill that guy, but it's interesting that she did not. I would have, I don't know which I prefer, actually, like, it would have been definitely a lot more darker if she would have done it, but I don't know what kind of message that would have sent. For a children's show, it makes a lot of sense that the message is a lot more positive, that you should always be merciful. So at least she's that, I suppose. I don't know, it's interesting. And I do like how Zuko was very much an essential part in helping Katara, like, in helping Katara, you know, succeed in this. And I do like that. This episode, however, was... Oh my god, I do... I'm gonna repeat that whole, many times, but... The... This was really... I don't know, it was a... It was very dark. Not like in imagery or scenery or anything like that, but more in the overall tone, because this was a venge vengeance story. The Katara was seeking vengeance. It was interesting to see her like completely bloodlusted, like that. Or not completely, I suppose, but you know, like that. I, it's interesting and even though I do very much like it that we, she has this negative character trait that makes her a lot more three-dimensional because she's not just goody-goody two-shoes. She's a lot more evil, basically, than Sokka. Because even though she is the more motherly and caring person, she is a lot more deadly and powerful and a lot more vengeful, apparently. Even though Sokka is a racist, you know, I'm just gonna flat out say that, because he is. It's not so absurdly aggressive. It's interesting. I don't know that... I wonder how this makes me like feel about Katara, because it's, it's both negative and 
positive thing that we get to see the bad side of her. And even though it has a peaceful resolution, I really am not quite sure whether it makes it all that much better. I don't know. It's, I'm still very conflicted about this episode. I Overall, I did enjoy it because it was a very... We got to see more of Katara and the water drives past, as well as more of the whole world building about the military faction of Fire Nation and also it was a cool character development for cool character development for Sokka and Katara but uh, so I did enjoy this after all but it was just I don't know just something feels off like Avatar doesn't usually have these dark episodes or not they are not so much driven forward by these negative emotions it's very interesting but I do, I did like it, but uh, I don't know. That's just, it just doesn't feel right, you know. But it's a cool character. There were a lot of cool things, though. And we got to see Katara being badass, so I suppose it's fine. Huh. I don't know. This is, it's interesting. It's, it's really interesting. In the end, Katara did not learn forgiveness, but she did learn mercy. I'm really... <sighs> this really gets me thinking a lot, but... I, for one, am not a ve vengeful person, even though I... I I'm not going to talk about my, me personally here, but... This is just... It's a very interesting, and it it really did get me thinking about a lot of things. But I just, I don't know. It's an interesting one. If I have to say something that's clearly negative, it's that it felt very rushed. Or a bit rushed, at the very least. Like, it went forward really quickly. But at the same time, that's just that the f speed was really fast. I don't think there was a problem with pacing, it was just that it, the story was told quickly and neatly. There was not much time for subtlety. Not much. There was some time for subtlety still, so... I don't know. I really do like this episode, but... It just kind of we feels wrong, you know. I'm gonna go over this scene by scene. So... Because, just... I don't know. I'm just confused. So... I'll just go to the uh, complete last words. So yeah, I do like this episode. We dealt a lot with Katara's character and their past, and the interaction we think between Katara and Zuko, and their how their relationship grew was really interesting, and I did like that. However, it feels like this episode was moving forward a bit too fast, and it was a lot more darker than I really am comfortable with having in cut in especially in avatar like i do like dark storylines but not in avatar that's not why i can come here for it's not bad that we get to see this dark storyline and the episode overall is very good it's perhaps not as enjoyable as it could have been but it's a lot more intriguing and thought provoking so i really think it's a good really good episode for many reasons and these reasons are very unique to this episode in particular, especially the thought-provoking part, because not majority of the Avatar episodes do not provoke this many thoughts, at least in me. That's how I feel personally about this. So yeah. I don't know, this, this is probably, again, one of the shortest outros I have, but, you know, that's just, that's just how it rolls. I have a very... I could talk about this a long time, but I'd be just talking in circles and I would have to get a lot more personal about this. I mean, I could do that. Like, if you want me to get personal, actually, hey, I just realized what, I, what will be the question of the day. So, yeah, even if I could go a lot more personal about this, so if you do, like, that's the question of the day. So, yeah, that's, that's my thoughts about this episode. It's good, but it's different. It's very different, but it's really good. So, yeah, 
as per usual, I really want you to hear your guys' opinions. Like, what do you think were the bad things about this episode, and what do you think were the good parts? And did you overall enjoy it? I did. Did you? And I'm sorry my commentary was, again, rather lackluster, but that's just because this episode was so different in tone. It's very interesting. But I thank you for watching. Stay awesome and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Gunmu out.